We're going to explain how to convert an OVA, Open Virtual Appliance File, to an ISO, International Organization for Standardization, image file. This isn't a direct conversion. OVA files are essentially packages containing a virtual machine's configuration and disk images, while ISO files are single disk images. Therefore, we need to extract the disk image from the OVA and then, if necessary, convert it to a format compatible with ISO. 1. Understanding OVA Structure First, understand that an OVA file is an archive. It contains multiple files, most importantly the virtual disk image, .vmdk, .dhd, .raw, etc. We need to extract this disk image. Many OVA files use the Open Virtualization Format, OVF, a standardized format, making extraction easier. 2. Extracting the disk image. The most common method is using a program like 7-Zip, Windows, Mac OS, Linux, which can handle various archive formats, including OVA. Simply right-click the OVA file, select 7-Zip, Extract Here, or a similar option. This will create a folder containing all the files within the OVA, including the virtual disk. Identify the disk image file, usually the largest file with an extension like .wmdk, .ehd, or .raw. 3. Converting the disk image, if needed. This step depends on the format of the extracted disk image. If it's already in a format that can be easily mounted as an ISO, like ISO itself, you're done. However, if it's in a format like .dmdk used by VMware, .dvhd used by Hyper-V, or .raw, you'll need to convert it. Several free and open source tools are available for this, such as Kemu IMG, a powerful command line tool that can convert between various disk image formats. You'll need to find the correct command based on your source and target format, which usually involves specifying the input and output file names along with the format. For example, to convert AVMDK to .iso, a command might look like, but may vary slightly depending on your Camu IMG version. Camu IMG convert f vmdk input dot vmdk o raw output dot raw write single quote followed by Mekisoft's o output dot iso output dot raw. Online resources provide detailed instructions on using Camu IMG and Mekisoft's. VirtualBox. You can potentially use VirtualBox to import the original OVA and then create an ISO from a snapshot or export a virtual disk image in a format that is easily converted to ISO using other methods. Other conversion tools. Many other graphical tools exist that provide a more user-friendly interface for converting disk images. Search for Virtual Disk Converter to find suitable options. 4. Verification. After the conversion, if any, verify the ISO file. Mount the ISO in a virtual machine or on your operating system to check if the contents are correct and bootable. Remember to always back up your original OVA file before attempting any conversion, just in case something goes wrong. The specific commands and tools used might vary slightly depending on your operating system and the exact format of the OVA and its contained disk image. Therefore, refer to the documentation for the specific tools you use. The process isn't always straightforward, but with the right tools and a little patience, it's achievable.